this is the land of the comedian medium good morning and welcome to your march cusp readings please hit like and subscribe hit that little bell and you can uh be entered into a drawing i guess you could say to get a free reading sometimes i even if you pay me and we, we set up a reading for half hour an hour that's usually what i do i'll give you your money back sometimes I have done it recently, and they're Heather surprise. I said, because you're my free reading for the month. So please uh, like and subscribe for that. Please visit Enchanted Sky. I'm 25 to 35% off right now. So you're saving about 20 to like $30, $35 or something like that on some of the readings. Um, please also uh, visit thewisewomansage.com. That's my blog. And I get up, I, I have someone working on it for me now. It's transcripts from metaphysical meanderings all right by the way thank you very much i got over a half a million live watchers on metaphysical meanderings and about they said that we thought from what we're seeing about a million downloads a month so i'm doing very well so thank you for all of that um thank you so much you guys for donating any kind of money towards my fund to buy my rescue and the horse farm and uh general wellness center i i places people can meditate i'm i'm wanting to do this um i have five acres it's not quite big enough and i'm trying to buy land around me so that's kind of what i'm doing anyway with that said your joke of the day have you um you know that i i have a i have a snail and i enter in snail races you know and he wasn't winning, right? So I I decided to take his shell off, but then he really got sluggish. Okay, let's get on with this. Okay. So I'm studying these cards a little. And what's going on for you is your, this month is your query, your question is you're taking time out to figure out what your next move is. You're wondering what your next move is. Now, this is crossing you, and the Queen of Cups can also represent using your intuition, but it also can represent someone, which would be a water sign. Just a thought. But this, in this case, I really feel like it's, uh, you're trying to use some intuition. What is your next move this month? And... You know, you're willing to do the hard work. You're willing to do it. And things are going your way. So I want to say you've gotten your ideals together. You've gotten the rest you needed for it to clear your mind. And now this can mean a get-together from, from, with a bunch of people. It can also re represent a, a love triangle. But it also represents... You adding some help, getting some help, talking to some other people about what some of the things you want to do. Now, you've been down, you know, you've been crying, you've been kind of feeling sorry for yourself, to be honest. I always say that this card is kind of feeling sorry for you. And I, this is what else I say about this card. It's you're crying over spilt milk. You've got three down, but you got two up and you got the cow off the card. And you need to lift yourself out of this. Now, you're, you're deciding what your next move is, of course. And they're telling you that you're going to be juggling. You're going to be really busy this month. Now, I say that there is a speed up of energy this month, February, March, and April. And February, March, and April are, like, it's exponential. Um, we're going to try to go back to normal. Um, I'm, this is mid-February. I've heard now that the, the, the planes are going to start filling up. I mean, it, things are going to try to go back to normal. Now, is there still a, a virus out? Yes. But um, I do not know where you live. But where I live, everybody's got their shots now. I cannot have one because I've had, I've had COVID. I have to wait a couple months yet but i just want to know everybody to know that everybody's going to attempt to go back to normal it's an attempt to go forward and you're wondering what your next move is yourself 
But I am telling you that it's good. And whatever you're wanting, you're going to get. Because, oops, I dropped the card. These are the two best cards in the deck, just about, besides justice. You're going to get what you want. And, you're, and this is the sun's shining down on you. You're being blessed this month. Maybe, maybe it's a, an idea. Maybe it's help from above. I feel like some people are getting help somehow. This is not always that just the help card, but I feel like these are friends that are helping. That's that there, and there's there's a celebration. You're celebrating. You know, I I do I do predict also stick make me to this in early spring here in the Midwest, and that and I just. I see it. I uh, I don't have to be an actual psychic. I, I'm also running a farm and I have a marsh and I'm seeing the geese starting to fly south and it's only the, and it's still really cold here, but I see what I see. So that's something else to celebrate, but it's, what's your next move? You're going to get what you're wishing for. What's your next move? Do you not know your next move? If you don't know your next move, you're out of alignment. I've talked to you about this before. What do you need to get from point A to point B? Because alignment, all alignment is, is following your heart. And that's what the age of Aquarius is about. Okay? Follow your heart. Re think back, what would make you happy? And you don't know? Well, you've really gotten out of alignment. Because at a deep level, your soul knows why you came. And that's what alignment's about. That's what following your heart is about. Okay? Now... There's going to be some battles and there's going to be somebody walking. You might be walking away. You might be saying, you know, some of this, this does not, something that I'm doing right now does not work for me anymore because you are transforming. There's a transformation card. This could even be shifting your mindset. Okay. You're on your way to victory. This is a victory card. This is a victory card. And now there's a king of wands involved. Wise counsel. All right. Um, this also could be a fire sign. Somebody coming into your life to help you out. This can also be you using your ultimate intuition again. Because this person's very wise and he's a doer. Okay. So it also can be, like I said, it could be a Sag and Aries or a um, Leo. It's a clarifying card. Oh, somebody's, oh, am I upside down? Oh, I'm sorry, I picked the deck up wrong. Remember I told you somebody was going to help you? Yes, yeah, somebody's going to help you. Here we go again. You're going to get help when you need it. And it's going to be very beneficial for you. Now you got a couple of messages coming. You got three messages around you. Look at, these are all... These are almost the whole major arcana right there. They're messages. Somebody's trying to tell you something. One, it's, it's an emotional one. One, it's verbal. That one is written. So there's messages all over. So be expecting lots of messages pertaining to what you want in your transformation. This is the card where you're pulling yourself up out of your ashes. Now, you're kind of wondering if there's a new start or something. That's kind of like an energy that, that kind of um, hits you a little bit, like it affects you. And, okay. They're telling you that this can mean, this can lead to something, but be careful. Maybe you need to let go of them, of it or let go of something so that you can go forward. It's kind of telling you that. You're hoping to be the queen of pentacles. And that doesn't matter if it's a male or female watching this. Because <laughs> that's the queen of creativity. That's what your hopes, your fears, your dreams are. Ultimately, you want to be the queen of pentacles. You want to be Miss, Mr. or Mrs. Money Buckets. And we all think that we always want money. We always, I want to tell you that. You always think you want money. But is that really what you want? How, who, who would do a job for half the pay? If they loved going every day and couldn't wait to get there. Just a thought. I mean, it, it's, it's a joy. And I understand money. So 
my question to you is, is there another way you can make some passive income? I just talked about the other. Uh, please watch the other um, Aries Taurus cusp reading because it's real heavy Taurus. And come on, it's Taurus. You guys know money. I know you do. All right. I'm a Taurus North Node. I get it. Plus, I'm a Capricorn uh, Earth sign. So, all right. Take action now. It's time to go now. I told you that you were taking action. You were going to find some. I feel like you're going to find help with what you need. Maybe you need to even watch videos. Maybe you need to do investments. There's something going on where you're getting help. And you're pulling yourself out of everything. All of the issues... You know, you were around, you were kind of depressed, feeling sorry for yourself. No, you're pulling yourself out of that. Confidence is the key to the success. Now, I got this. Some of these cards are exactly the same. And I have to laugh. It's exactly the same. Heavy Taurus energy on all these, by the way. Um, confidence is your key to success. Now, I, I said on an earlier video, make it, fake it till you make it. And they said, well, that psychics don't say that. No, yes, you do. <laughs> fake it till you make it. What I mean by that is... You have no confidence, right? You fake that you have confidence. And eventually, it becomes, it becomes you and you become confident, okay? Nothing's going to come out of this situation. It means nothing bad's going to happen here. There's nothing. Now, this is an interesting one. Now, personal issue reaches resolution. Maybe you're rap grappling with yourself. This is a personal issue with you, you know? Um, maybe you can't decide how you want to go because, I mean, here you sit and you're resting. And, yes, you needed some rest. But you're also looking, contemplating, thinking about what your next move is, assessing how what you've done so far and what you need to do also. Prosperity lies ahead, guys. I still say it. Now, this is an interesting one, and I got this for, this is heavy Taurus energy readings. A new romantic cycle begins. Now, I don't see much in here. I see maybe one card that could be possible. That's a possible love interest. But I am, if you are in the right place, in the right mind, love will find you. I am a firm believer of that. If you're out of alignment, who wants to be around you? <laughs> Nobody. Because you know what I'm saying. <laughs> all right? Blessings to all of you. And uh, it's going to be interesting what you choose to do to create the life you want. And that is exactly what this reads about. 